Hey guys, Weather Expert here, bringing you guys an awesome video on a tropical update, and this is the fifth one, I think. That, yeah, this is the fifth, no, actually the sixth um, uh, video update on on post tropical storm Erica. It is not regenerated. Um, the National Hurricane Center has lowered the um, chances of development for this just because of the amount of shear that's here. There's 40 to 50 knot shear that will be shearing the system apart. But before that, the shear will be shearing all the cloud tops and all the rain right towards Florida. So expect a lot of rain. And they do need the rain in there right near the Keys, Miami, down here, just south of Lake Okeechobee. They need the rain there. So this is a pretty good system, and it's better not to have a hurricane here. than uh, just It's better to have a tropical system. It doesn't matter. Even though you guys are hurricane lovers, um, really don't, uh, I really just don't – I really think this thing could have a chance if it went north of Hispanic. If it went north – and over here with lower shear, it could have really just pound, could have just bombed out to a cat too. But of course, it went down the worst way possible, went through the mountains, and then came up here. So before we start, we're gonna close that out. Um, so you guys, I made a face Facebook page for mine. It's called Weather Experts uh, page. If you just type in www.facebook.com, you just type in Weather Expert W X and no, just expert with capital E, then you'll be um, then you'll be uh, pretty much directed to it and right now we have about 14 total likes that's pretty cool um but yeah let's see so we gotta, we gotta start talking about this system right here this is the next worry but the worry it's gonna be is for the Cape Verde Islands because they're under a hurricane watch and you don't see that often you do not see a hurricane watch issue for the Cape Verde Islands most often most systems just don't develop and then we get west of um, let's say the 25 west here or something like that then usually um, it, but these things start to develop. But this one has been here for a long time, spinning its way northwest, and now it's starting to look like, looks like an eye is trying to develop, and this thing is probably rapidly intensifying into a hurricane right now. I have to believe that this is a 65 mile per hour tropical storm, if not a hurricane already by radar trends. Not radar trends, but satellite trends. But um, yeah, this, it's going to be heading right towards Cape Rhode Islands. If you are living in Cape Rhode Islands, you better be watching this system, this system very closely as this thing can be a hurricane and this thing can bomb out in, in this area once it gets west of the Cape Verde Islands it's really going to start getting you see these serious serious clouds, clouds this is dry air so really it has about one to two days of good strengthening that it can do but then after that it will most likely weaken head off to the west and then most likely entrained before we do that let's get under the radar of Key West um this is uh, courtesy of weather.co.eu they're awesome I live in the state that their um, county is in DuPage Illinois it's pretty cool but you can see there's a lot of rain getting trained up into the um, southeast Florida now Miami might be starting to get some showers but this is how far the radar goes so there's probably rain over here but you can see that just to the west of Key West there's absolutely getting pounded by rain I mean this is just ocean but there really isn't a surface circulation um just because it's really over here it's really just descent it's really not doing a lot you might see a little spin right here but that's not with the surface so really this is a very low chance i give a 10 percent chance of redeveloping but um yeah so let's go to the um, my map that i create later so if you go to the weather expert wx expert expert um underscore weather let's go to my tweets and you guys can see um what kind of map i made for um fred so here's where is it there boom right here so let's see if it can load up first it probably yeah it's loaded up right now so let's see I got two retweets three favorites all right so I'm saying that it's a tropical storm right now this is one that was made 45 miles per hour it's probably gonna be about I think it's gonna be a hurricane when it gets over to the Cape Verde Islands so this could very well be slight chance I say about 30 percent chance of a category two hurricane impacting the western islands of Cape Verde so and most likely it'll head west and then uh, start you know just saying rain but this is my map that I made. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter for a lot of updates. And the big question is, where's it going to go after that? Well, I'm sure you answer that. That it will likely not impact the U.S. And let me tell you why. I'll show you why. Where's the high pressure? It's located over the west. This was steered. Um, this could have steered um, uh, Erica. It could have steered Erica right near the coast, and it could have caused a big problem. So it's still over here. There's low pressures over here. So tropical systems. Do not like heading west towards higher pressures. They like heading towards lower pressures. So as we get to about 36 hours, this is a GFS. So if we go to um, surface pre pressure, it's going to show a lot better. But this is, um, you can see there's a low pressure here. High pressure is kind of building. It's not really going to go, to, they don't like going towards high pressure systems. So most likely it's going to take the northwest route around it. And it's going to get entrained and most likely the low pressure will bomb out over here. And it will move into that because of 
you know, the way that systems work. And then I'll likely curve out to see, not impact anyone, then really, um, the GFS isn't really showing a lot of development, but that can surely change because it is on September and things can pop out really quickly. Let's look at the National Hurricane Center call. This is courtesy of WSI and Telecast. It's pretty cool. Um, but they're saying a 75 miles per hour um, hurricane. I, that's bull crap. I think it's get up to 90 to 100. Just by how it looks right now. Just by how it looks. Look at this. It's. I mean, like it's expecting a hurricane to go over here. I mean, look at this. It's still got a little ways to go, and it's already showing an eye and showing organization. Very. And this is very rare for this time. <sighs> wow. It's, this is a really and there's hurricane watches. It's just so weird. You never see this. I've seen Julia, but Julia formed a hurricane over here. So if it forms over here, it's going to be the third system to do that. And if it turns into a major hurricane, which is very, which is extremely unlikely, because of the amount of time it could go to a major hurricane, but it just doesn't have enough time to do it. But yeah, guys, that's really going to wrap it up for this uh, video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, did a computer version just because it's a lot harder to manipulate with your um, iPod, iPhone and stuff. But yeah guys, um, hope you guys enjoy this. I'll make it, I'm making a video on the Pacific today. But yeah guys, see you in the next video. Peace out y'all.